The cannabis plant does not produce THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, directly. Instead, it first produces the precursor to THC called THCA, which is tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. Decarboxylization is the chemical reaction responsible for the removal of the carboxyl group, which converts the THCA into THC. What is a carboxyl group? Without going too deep into the chemistry, it is a single hydrogen and carbon atom with two oxygen atoms that are all bonded together and grouped to the THCA molecule. Heat or time causing this bond to break is decarboxylization. Why break the bond? THCA is non-psychoactive, meaning it won't get you high. The reason THCA is non-psychoactive is because it is too large of a molecule to fit into our brain's cannabinoid receptors compared to the THC molecule, which is smaller without the addition of the carboxyl group. Now you may be thinking, that doesn't quite make sense. I smoke weed all the time and it gets me high. If it's only THCA, how am I getting high without the THC in the weed? What happens when you smoke or vaporize cannabis is you're applying heat and decarbing it, breaking down the THCA into THC and destroying the carboxyl group as you smoke it. How do I decarboxylate? Just set your oven to 122 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit, leave the cannabis in the oven for an hour or two and it'll be fully decarboxylated and ready for edibles. You can wrap the cannabis in tin foil or put it into a mason jar to reduce the smell. It's also worth noting that THCA converts to THC at a rate of 0.877. So that means that one gram of THCA will convert into 0.877 grams of THC. This rate is used when calculating THC percentages in stores. When you see that your cannabis in a store has a percentage of 22% THC, it actually has a higher rate of THCA and they're converting it to THC using this percentage. Can you overcook the cannabis when decarboxylating and ruin the THC? There's a lot of misinformation floating around the internet about decarboxylization. Some of it roots from one poorly done study that made this graph. The study led many to believe that a lower temperature was needed and any temperature above 250 degrees Fahrenheit would rapidly destroy the THC content in the cannabis. However, this study was flawed as it was heated on an open glass surface exposed to air as well as being an extremely low THC percentage to begin with. As you can see in this chart, there's less than 15 milligrams of THC per gram at the peak of the experiment. For a hexane concentrate or any concentrate, that is a very low THC percentage, less than 1.5% to begin with. That's less than starting with bud. A more modern study found some more relevant information. In the study, they dissolved 25 grams of keef in 500 milliliters of coconut oil. Their solution sat for two months before beginning the experiment to ensure that it was fully saturated. They submitted this solution to several independent labs which found that the solution was free of any CBN. CBN is the molecule that is produced when THC degrades or is overheated. The THCA solution was set on a hot plate stirrer with a temperature probe set to 122 degrees Celsius and the hot plate set to 350 degrees Celsius. The temperature probe ensured that the heat did not reach above 122 degrees Celsius inside of the solution. Once the solution reached temperature, a timer was engaged for 24 hours. Samples were taken off at every six hour interval at six hours, it was found that only 0.1 milligrams per milliliter of CBN was found in the solution. And at 24 hours, 0.4 milligrams per milliliter was found in the solution. The experiment found that the THC to CBN conversion was so low that it's not worth worrying about. When you're doing a decarb, as long as you're not doing it over 250 degrees Fahrenheit and you're not doing it for over 24 hours, you're not going to destroy your THC. While the THC levels of the keef were not disclosed in this study, we can assume that 25 grams of keef is at least 10% THCA, and that gives us 2,500 milligrams of THCA. That's five milligrams per one milliliter. So after 24 hours, only 0.4 milligrams per milliliter was converted to CBN. That means that only 0.008% of our starting ratio of THCA has ultimately been converted to CBN after 24 hours heat at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That ultimately concludes you do not have to worry about over decarboxylating your cannabis. I hope this sets your mind at ease when you're decarbing in the future and good luck making some edibles.